Hi everyone, welcome back and happy March 1st. I'm so excited that it's March because spring is just around the corner. I feel like it's getting warmer and warmer every day, but I'm also excited because today has been circled on my calendar for a bit now because the Cricut Joy was released and I'm so excited. She's really, really cute. I actually, I went to bed about 10 o'clock last night and then I set my alarm for midnight so that I could, um, what I, I planned to, um, order it through Michael's as with the same day, um, pickup so I it actually worked out really well because our Michaels opens right when we're in church so I wasn't gonna be able to attend um the opening for the store to get my machine so I stayed up till midnight to pre-order mine because or claim it I guess for the same day pickup and I'm really thankful I did because by the time I got there um after church they were all claimed and gone so I was so happy that my name was on one of the boxes and that I got to take one home today and then I got to pick out some really cool smart materials so I will show you guys what I picked up today um so for our debut project this little machine has been out of the box for probably 15 minutes, so we are going to learn this little guy together today. It's so cute, so small. Um, and the first project we're gonna do is we're gonna be applying a little scalloped monogram to this little thermos. I'm, I'm not really sure what the actual name for this is. It's just tableware. Um, table, tableware slash hydration, it says, which that's funny. Um, so this is in the spring shop at Hobby Lobby, um, and I'm hoping to use it for coffee, um, and I love the little size color and just look of it so I want to add you guys know I love monograms so I'm gonna add my monogram to it but I'm gonna take a little twist on the monogram and do a little scalloped monogram so it's gonna be really cute and girly so for this project we are going to be using the Cricut Joy we are going to use a measuring tape to measure out um, how we how big we want our design and we're going to put the monogram on the front and then the back that way I can enjoy my monogram while I'm drinking but it's also showing off my monogram on the other side as well. Um, we'll need a Cricut weeding tool and then this is the white smart vinyl so this is the first um, time that we'll be using this on the channel um, so it's awesome it is um, called the smart vinyl because it has um, the little mat built into it so we're not going to have to use a mat for this this is so exciting um your Cricut Joy does come with a green standard grip mat though so that's super exciting so if you do have other materials then you can put um non-smart material through it too I believe so um we're also going to use a scraping tool and we're also going to use um some scissors of some sort and then, so just to show you guys what else I picked up, I did pick up their um, transfer tape um, to see how I like it. Um, they had two different kinds. There was a strong grip and there was a um, just regular, I suppose. It doesn't say strong grip on this one. So I picked up the regular because I always have found that the Cricut um, transfer tape has just been really strong. Um, so I'm hoping to try out this and we'll see. I, I'll try it out with you guys today and we'll see if we like it. Um, and then with, um, the Michaels purchase, you got a free roll of vinyl. Um, so that was their deal today at least. And that, uh, the one I picked out was this little sampler pack. It's so, so cute. Um, I can't remember. It doesn't even say on here, does it? What colors there are in here? Oh yeah. Tulip, mint, teal, tr uh, coral, and tangerine. I think these are going to be super fun and so appropriate for spring. So those will be really fun. Um, I picked up their new writable white vinyl. So this is some vinyl that you can actually write on. It has the little um, pencil little mark over here. And then I picked up, you guys, of course, you know, I picked up this color because I'm absolutely in love with it. It's the tulip. And then I picked up this pretty powder blue. So those are the materials that I started with, but you guys should have seen the, at least my Michaels, they were ready to go today. The machines may have been sold out really quickly, but their vinyl and all of the materials were just so gorgeous. And so it was hard to pick colors, but um, I was really impressed with all their selection. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm super excited. Let's just measure our little little um, cup here and then we can decide how uh, big we want it. I think we're going to stick around two and a half by two. Ooh, that might be, let's see. I think two and a quarter is going to be plenty actually. 
So let's keep the monogram at two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So it'll be a square in nature. Yep, that'll be perfect. Final answer, two and a quarter and two and a quarter. Okay, so let's pop into Design Space together. We are going to learn this together today. You guys, this is my first project with the Joy. It's probably most likely going to be your one of your first projects with the Joy. So let's learn this together. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into Design Space and we're going to create the little scalloped monogram. And then we'll get to printing it out on the new Cricut Joy. I'm super excited. Let's get going. Okay guys, here we are in Design Space and what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be doing a monogram, but we're gonna do a scalloped monogram and it's gonna be really cute. So it's kind of a play on a monogram and just kind of make it really girly and fun. So I'm gonna start with my monograms. I've already pre-made them. If you guys need help creating your own monogram, I'll put a link up here to, somewhere up here it'll pop up, to um, a whole video that I did on monograms. Um, for the sake of time today, I'm not gonna go through that step by step. We're just gonna start with the monogram, but if you are new to creating monograms or you're having trouble creating one of your own, make sure you reference that video. Um, it goes through it step by step from beginning to end on how to create your own. And it's super, super easy. So I'll link that and I'll also link it down in the description box below. That way you guys can be sure to find it and make sure you reference that if you're having any trouble doing so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to images. And what I'm going to do is I typed scalloped circle up into the little search engine here, and I'm going to select this second one in and I'll just hit insert images. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let me say send to front um, I am going to there's two ways you could do this you could actually slice this out and just have this kind of look exactly like this and have the um, cup showing through the little cutout areas but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually I want um, this all to be white um, white on white together so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to then create a circle and I am going to cut out going to size it really quick. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm going to do here. It'll make more sense as I go. Okay, maybe make that a little smaller. It's looking better and better. Okay, I am going to highlight both of these and I'm going to say align uh, vertically or center vertically. Oh, that was perfect. I guess I had that right. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to slice this. So I'm gonna highlight both of them. I'm gonna highlight that scallop circle and my circle, and I am going to hit slice. So what I am doing is I am going, I am slicing out the center of this scalloped circle. That way I can place my little monogram within it here. So let me show you, this is gonna be white as well. So it's gonna look just like this. I might make the circle just a tad bigger. I want a little bit of um, room around that. There we go. I want a little bit of room around the um, monogram there. Okay, so I'm gonna select everything and I'm going to say align or center vertically. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to center horizontally. Okay, so now it's all centered. I hit those buttons. It's just up in this aligned area. It helps everything just center together. So it's centering my monogram with the um, scalped border. Um, so that way it's all together. So I'm going to actually delete this guy because I will just create two of these. But first, before I do that, I'm going to weld these two together. So I can just go over here to my layers panel and I will select the scalloped border. I will select the monogram and I will go over here and hit weld. Now, once you weld something, you can't unweld it. So make sure that you are all, um, you know, happy with everything. You're happy with your placement and your results. Before I do that, you guys, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this because I love putting my monogram on everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. That way I still have the file and I'm going to just hide it. Um, ooh, let me hide the other one because the other one was perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna hide it. So that way this is always here. I'll, I'll weld these two together, but I also have my original monogram just hidden within the file. That way, if I wanna come do something differently, I can do that. So I'm gonna weld these and make them one file right up here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to size those. I said I wanted them at two and a quarter, so 2.249, that's pretty much perfect. And that will work. Okay, I love it. Now what I'll do is now that it's sized, I will go ahead and duplicate it. And now it's going to print too. Okay, so now one thing I wanna show you guys is up here, you're able to select your machine. So right here, we're using the Cricut Joy today. Um, and it also will show you other um, machines that are available you know, should you have those. So I'm gonna hit the Joy because we are going to be using that. And I'm going to hit Make It. 
Okay, so now it's popping up with this little box that wants to know exactly what we are intending to do. They want to know if we're using smart material, which re which allows us to cut without a mat. They also want to know if you are actually using an actual mat where you can use any material. I love how it's all, you know, pretty much spelled out for you. Or they want to know if you're using the card mat. So for today, we are actually using the new smart material. So I am going to select that. It also reminds me I don't need a mat because the mat is essentially built in. So I'm going to hit done. And then um, right here, I'm just, again, we are without a mat um, and it's showing me where they are going to be. I don't know. It looks like they're too, a little too skinny to be side by side. So that's okay. And so they're just like that. We don't need to mirror this because we are just using regular vinyl. So if you're using this for an iron on project, then that's when you would want to mirror it. But today it's just regular adhesive vinyl. And now we're just going to hit continue and it's connecting via Bluetooth. And now we are just going to show, okay, so now we are going to select Smart Vinyl Permanent. Okay, so that's the one we're using today. And let me go ahead and star that. If you guys haven't done this before, um, starring your, this is just a way of allowing you to have favorites over here. So that we're in the popular category, so they have them loaded about which ones we can use based on the selection of without a mat that we chose. So um, when you star them, this is something I'm gonna be using all the time, so I start it, then it'll put it in your favorites, that way it's quicker next time. I'm gonna go ahead and use default pressure, and now we will start um, getting everything loaded and get going. Okay, so before we load our material, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some rubbing alcohol with a little cotton swab. I'm just gonna rub the surface of my um, little cup here because I wanna make sure it's all clean and prepped for the vinyl, so the vinyl will stick really well. So I'm just gonna quickly go over that. That way, while the vinyl is cutting, it gives this chance to dry and there's a little bit of um, dust and grime that's coming off that way you know you never know how long they're sitting at the shelves at the store or being packaged away um, when they're being shipped to the store so this just ensures that everything is all clean and ready to go so that looks perfect and now I'm just gonna set this little guy aside um, now he's all ready and I love this cup because it's just you just pull on the little lid and it comes off, um, so it's not one of the screw tops, which you guys, the reason the screw, I love the screw tops because obviously they're super secure, but I like to have my the lip of my cup line up perfectly with my vinyl. So I'm always trying to figure out how to screw it on perfectly so that where I sip from is lined up perfectly. So when I saw that this was just a pop on, I was, kind of relieved because now I can just line it up and put it on and not worry about all the screen. I don't know if you guys worry about that like I do, but I thought I'd be honest and tell you that that drives me completely crazy if it doesn't line up perfectly. Okay, so that's drying and we don't need our measuring tape anymore. I'll just set that off to the side. And so now, um, one thing about the Joy is there's no buttons or anything on there. So like the traditional maker, um, you would actually hit a load button and you would hit a cut button, but this one, you just load the material. So I'm just going to, you're just going to press it up against the little wheels and load. So now it rolled it in. What it was doing was it was checking the length of the material to make sure that we had enough material to cut this project. So that's amazing that it kind of double checks you. And now we just hit go and we're actually are hitting go on our computer. So I'll do that there. Again, it's all buttonless. So you're using your computer for all of the um, actions. So now it's just finalizing, it says, and now it's beginning to cut. It's <laughs> so cute. And it's doing a really good job. I love it. It's really quiet um, compared to my maker. So, and don't get me wrong, my maker is still going to be used for all the things and a lot of fun things, but this joy is going to be fun for a lot of different projects. I have another one that I'm going to film tomorrow. Make sure you guys are all subscribed because um, I'm going to do a really, really large sign tomorrow, which will be really nice. I think I'm going to use this nice powder blue for it. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys can see that. I'm going to do like a really long one, so we're going to really take advantage of the continuous cutting feature of this. So that'll be really, really fun. And it's cutting, I think it's still cutting. Nope, it's cutting the second one. So it's just about done. It says it's about 67%. So we're just about there. All right, so it says it's complete and it's all done cutting over here. So on your computer, it just says you can click unload. I'm gonna click that 
and it unloads it. It's perfect. And now what I'm going to do, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut right here. You know what? I'm going to use my, um, Cricut cutting tool, my, um, the slicer tool because I want to make sure that I ensure a very straight finished um, cut on the end that way when I go to load it next time um, I just really like my all my ter materials to have a really nice clean lined finish um, so I'm gonna do it that way perfect okay so now what I'm gonna do is I can just start to cut off this excess Okay. Now with my weeding tool, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke a corner and you guys, the, um, the little built-in mat and the white vinyl, I'm so sorry. It's going to be white on white. So it's going to be really hard for you guys to see what I'm actually doing, but it's weeding like a dream. I'm just going to go in and weed that little middle circle out and then meet, weed the middle of the letters. But I'm Sorry that you guys can't see um, the actual, it's just hard to see with white on white, I know. But just know it's, it's weeding perfectly, feels really nice. Okay, and again with the second one, I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Okay. This turned out really sweet. I'm making this for um, Bible study because another one that I made for myself, I accidentally broke the lid and it was not the mug's fault. So that, that um, a tutorial that I'm gonna link for you guys for the monogram, I accidentally broke the lid to that. And again, it was total user error. Um, I got a little too, um, I guess, strong with it when I was trying to load it into the dishwasher. So anyway, I'm redoing like a cut for myself to take to Bible study so that I can enjoy some coffee while we're having our little chat. So, okay, so I'm using the new Cricut um, transfer tape. Um, so this is my first time using this, to be completely honest. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, let me just take the little backing off real quick. And then we'll place it over our design. So again, I did purchase the right, I guess regular is what you would call it. Um, the other one did mention that it was strong grip. Um, so I did, I did regular grip or I suppose you could call it. Okay. And I, I'm trying the regular out because, um, I've the traditional strong grip Cricut transfer tape has always been like just too much for me. Um, so I'm hoping that this little um, formula is just right. Okay, so I'm just going to scrape that down there. And then what I'll do is I'll cut these two apart since I will be applying them separately. So being really careful not to cut my design, I'm just going to cut in between there. And I'll just cut off the excess here that way. I don't have any um, extra materials to help um, center my stuff with. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it over. I'm just gonna scrape it down one more time and then I'm going to peel from the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel the mat, if you will, away from the, um, just needed a little help getting off there okay there we go Okay, so now you guys will be able to actually see how the monogram turned out now that it's not on white on white anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create little um, slits. Actually, I'm going to kind of get my stuff just centered here. I'm going to create little tiny um, slit marks in the transfer tape, and this is just going to help when working with 
applying vinyl to a curved surface because it just helps the transfer tape be a little bit more flexible and not as rigid once you go to lay it down. So we'll just help get everything nice and straight and um, not have like bubbles and mess come up. Okay, so now that's going to be so cute. I am just going to try to straighten that as much as I can. And again, the lid goes anywhere, so there's really no like front or back to this. So I'm just going to, I think right there is about where I want that. Okay, so I'm just going to lay it down. And I'm going to take my finger and just kind of press the center. And then I will kind of go out from the center with my finger. This is kind of my first step here. Okay, and now I'll take my scraper tool and just really scrape that down. Making sure it looks really good. I don't see any bubbles so far, so that was a really smooth transfer. Okay, and now I'm just gonna get a side of that up. Okay. There we go. And now I'll just pull away. Now there are little slits in that transfer tape, so some it will most likely come off in little sections, which is just fine. Oh, that worked really well. I'm actually pretty impressed with the transfer tape. Aside from just trying to get like a little lip of it to come off, um, I had it really, really scraped down there. So there we go. That looks really nice. Okay. It laid down perfectly. I don't see any bubbles. I don't think. Maybe it, maybe one or two, actually, just right here at the bottom of the arm. And if you do see that you have any bubbles, just go ahead and rub them with your fingernail, and they will come right out. You can also take your scraper tool and just kind of push them towards the outside of the letter, and those will come right out too. Perfect. Okay. So there is the first side. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? I think the sizing was just right too. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the second side. So I'm just going to flip this literally behind. I wanted to make sure I got it perfectly underneath. Okay, and actually I'm gonna need my scraping tool for a second. I'm gonna scrape this down and we'll just apply it on the back. Okay, so I have the second one all on the transfer tape, and I'm going to do the um, little slits once more. This for this particular um, mug or container, if you will, that's not as important because it's pretty straight. Um, there's not a lot of curvature to it, but I just like to be safe because it isn't completely um, straight. I just want to be completely sure. Let me double check that I got that just right. Okay. Just want to make sure that I have that just so. Okay. And then laying that right down. And oops, let me do my fingers first. Got ahead of myself there. I think I'm getting so excited to see this all done. So now another thing is you're going to want to make sure that you only hand wash this um, and you don't leave it like soaking in um, a sink of water or anything like that because it'll just help protect the vinyl and then um so try not to dishwash it and then also obviously no microwaving or anything like that but another thing to note is that you're going to want to make sure that you just give it a couple days to really set up or cure it's just going to help that vinyl really really um cure to the surface so um so it's sunday today and i don't have bible study until tuesday so that's pretty perfect i'll give it a good couple days to really set up and then be able to enjoy it. So this project was so easy. The hardest part is going to obviously be waiting to be able to use it because <laughs> everything else about this was so easy. I, what do you guys think about the Cricut Joy so far? I'm really excited you guys were with me for the very first debut project. Um, that was the first time I've ever um, used it. Well, I did put, put um, the, the smart material through it one time because when you um, prompt it, to set up um it, it cuts out like a little 
something where you can just pick a little something for it to cut out just to make sure everything's working so of course I wanted to make sure it was working before I filmed but other than that this is my very first project with it and I think it's so fun I think it's gonna be a really fun addition to the craft table okay so there it is how cute and then again on the back so that turned out really really nice I love it and then if you guys were wondering exactly what I was talking about so see how the lip is right there perfect and I can line it up perfectly with my monogram and zip it perfectly <laughs> hopefully I'm not the only one who worries about stuff like that I know it's so silly but I do <laughs> so anyway all right guys thanks for joining me for my very first project with the Cricut Joy I'm super excited about it I think it's gonna be really fun I'm gonna be filming a few more things for it this week um so make sure you guys are all subscribed. Again, I'm going to do a big project tomorrow on a big wooden surface. So that'll be really, really fun. So make sure you guys are all subscribed. If you found this helpful, if you guys are excited for the joy, or if you just enjoyed being here, I would really love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and make sure that you guys are all subscribed because besides the Cricut Joy and all of that excitement, I also have a ton of Easter stuff coming up and a ton of birthday prep stuff coming up. So lots of goodies coming to the channel and I can't wait to craft with you. Bye guys.